what we're doing folks we're on I'll tell you what we're on we're on the world's most elusive badger set nightmare like I said it last film they're not they're not for coming out these lads not in light anyway but we'll stick at it won't we and I've got this gear on to help me now I got sent this a while ago and um, got sent from Tragapan I love Tragapan stuff they make some really really good wildlife watching stuff you know bird hides uh, photography hides protective equipment you name it they make some right good stuff and I'm an ambassador for them and um, I wouldn't be if it weren't good stuff so you know, I, I mean, I've given it some hammer as well, and uh, it, it stands up to the test. So it's proper, proper good gear. Anyway, they sent me this stuff, and this is the ghillie suit. So it comes with gloves as well. Um, they also sent me a set of ghillie protective legs for the uh, for a tripod, and also I've got it in here somewhere. Geez, that well camouflaged. I can't find it. Yeah, a couple of these as well. Now this is um, camo for your camera. Now this one, this is a for a big prime lens. But you know, I mean, I've only got the uh, I've got the 500p. There's also this as well that I'm going to show you in a minute. That's the uh, that's the cam shield. Now the way these work, it's basically a camo tube. I'm going to take these gloves off a minute. Can't work out what's what camo everywhere so you've got like a big sleeve if you will and put your camera through that lens goes through the end and then you've got uh, all you do you just tighten it up you've got a drawstring there you tighten it up around the uh, you know around the end of your lens just make sure it's it's clear and not obstructed look at that and your camera is actually inside it's inside this all this camo stuff and it's it's superb it just completely hides your camera so I've still got a really good clear field of view I can see the back of my camera and all this is kind of well it's basically it's hiding me as well so they're really really good bit of kit I love that and anyway that's the jacket so the jacket is a it's obviously got uh, got the hood as well. That comes right over, like a almost like a sniper suit, if you will, and it's quite long. So you can see there, it comes more or less down to my knees, and the front of it, like a quick, quick release, press studs. There's about eight press studs all the way down the side. But um, yeah, I used it, um, I actually used it last week. I were up in Northumberland. Um, me and Mrs. had a few days up at a cottage in Northumberland and I obviously chucked the gear in, like you do. Right behind the, uh, the cottage, there were some open fields with sheep in. Anyway, brown hairs. And I'll be honest, I've not done a lot of brown hair photography. I've always, you know, I've, <laughs> I've been in locations where they've been and you know I've, I've got some kind of all right shots I had this stuff with me and I, I'm a bit miffed that I didn't take me I didn't take me vlogging stuff because we were just on a break and uh, I didn't I didn't want the pressure of having you know doing a vlog so we're just in, you know just enjoying myself took this up and I saw I saw this one herd in the field and I crawled up up this like a, a tractor track if you will and I got probably 20 25 meters away and I was getting some nice shots I had the um, I had the 500 pf on and then I would I was just shooting away happily and then the shape came it blindsided me it came from the left and this her well I've, I've never been as close in my life it was literally it was I don't know 10 10 meters away if that and it was too <clears throat> it was uh, it were actually too close so I got some really good close-up shots. I'll, I'll put them on now and you can see them, but uh, what a fantastic experience. And at one point I had four of them running around 
and I had this this stuff on and it was uh, well I mean that was testament to how good it were was was the fact that these hairs they had no idea that I was there and I literally um, I had probably a couple of hours they were just you know they were running around and doing all sorts they were feeding they were scratching they were jumping about and um, in the end I kind of lost the light and I just backed off never even noticed I was there and uh, oh, we're dead chuffed it was a fantastic encounter absolutely amazing never I've never had out like that before not with brown hairs anyway so and that was with this this tragopan uh, you know ghillie ghillie jacket on so that's that's testament to how good it is anyway so that's the ghillie stuff now <clears throat> another thing I want to show you what tragopan have started doing and it's protection for lenses so there we go that's the cam shield you can see it there on the uh, on the 500 pf now i don't generally buy new camera gear and when i buy it i always make sure it's absolutely tip top immaculate condition i don't like buying you know gear that's been knocked about anyway i got this lens it was it was as new i don't think it had, had been used to be honest it had the, the bot all the all the bags, you name it, it had it. It was absolutely immaculate. There wasn't a mark on it. And I wanted to keep it that way. Because I'm I'm fussy about that. You pay a lot of money. I mean this this lens was just under three thousand quid. Now I've heard people say, ah, I'm not I'm not paying hundred quid for a for a set of covers and that and they'll buy a cheap set of like neoprene covers. And I've been guilty of it myself. When I first started, I bought a cheap set of uh, like I said a neoprene camo and it, it did a job to a degree but I were having it were always slipping off and you know I were having to put tape on it and all that malarkey I thought no nah, it's, it's no good this anyway Tragopam they sent me this this is the uh, this is the cam shield and it's absolutely superb it um, it's a superb fit I mean I make obviously you know I make the bean bags and I know quality workmanship when I see it and these are really really well made so it comes with like these rubberized neoprene well they're not neoprene they are they are rubberized covers if you will so that's a separate one there's one there and there's also one underneath that you don't have to put on um, but that covers your controls up as well and they're, they're made specifically for each camera lens so even down to the part where it's got a cover on the turning screw you know where you um, where you turn it for you to turn your tripod foot round so just undo that there we go so we're spinning that round so every part of you of your lens is protected it also comes with um, cover for your for your lens hood and also I'll get it out of the bag here comes with a you see a cap there Ooh. there you go so it's a camo cap for the end so that sits on right on the on the end there yep we got that here we go and that ties up with that buckle but you can also you can also take that off you can sit it there and you can actually use it as a support which is quite a cool idea really I like that so yeah solid end on it they come in four colours there's this one which is um, I'm not sure what it's called actually this one it's like an autumn autumn camo they do a spring camo they also do like a, well they do a white one for if you're out uh, you know in the snow and they also do like a dark olive which is quite cool actually I like the dark olive it's just one colour uh, you can see on here it's got these covers on so if you want to you know if you're maybe doing some manual focus work you can just flick them off and you've still got access to your focus ring they just click back on on them press studs nice solid uh, solid feel to them and as I was saying before, they're not cheap, but 
When I look on, I mean, I've, I've used MPB quite a bit, and um, all the all the lenses are graded. So you've you've got some that are like well used, uh, other ones that are fair and excellent and as new. And the price difference is quite alarming, really. So if you, you know, if you don't look after your your camera equipment and you do trade in or you sell it, you're going to get a lot less for you for your equipment when you do come to change it and the thing is with this hobby we do change our gear quite a bit don't we <laughs> to say the least so if you can protect it and you know keep it in the condition you know that it that it was when you bought it it's a massive bonus and it you know it's good to look after your kit anyway and also I mean it gives you that concealment doesn't it and they're not falling off. I mean, I've had this on for quite a while now and I've never had any issues with uh, with it moving at all. You know, it's been absolutely brilliant. So really, I mean, you can see there, you know, you can just Velcro's on and off, but there we go. But uh, yeah, real good, real good fit. So yeah, have a look, check them out, check Traeger Pan out. I'll put a link below. There's a discount code as well uh, that you can use, Trago Simon 5, and you'll get 5% off. Just check the um, whether there's any import taxes, you know, with Brexit and all that. Uh, there might be extra charges, I don't know, but it's worth checking out. But that's uh, that's my little uh, review of the of the cam shield. Now, I have another bit of uh, bit of news. This is actually going to be going. Well, this is going, and this is going. And all my Nikon stuff's going because um, after a long deliberation, I've cancelled the Z9 order, which, you know, I had a long hard think about it, give me head a bit of a wobble, and um, I couldn't justify chucking five and a half grand at a, you know, a camera body. I just couldn't do it because, well, one, I'm waiting. I don't know how long it's going to be. Who knows when it's going to be available, but. Yeah, I've made, the, I've made the decision to change and I'm changing to OM systems. I looked at Sony, I was going to go down the, the A7 IV route. A um, couple of minor issues with that. The biggest thing is weight, in, it's the size of the system now. You know, with me doing all my vlogging and YouTube stuff, you know, I've, um, I do stuff on my bike now and that. I need a, I need a more compact system and that for two grand, the OM1, it's absolutely fantastic. It's it's amazing, you know. I, I mean, a, a few lads who I follow on YouTube, um, you know, I've seen the results that they're getting from it. I've actually ordered the 150 to 400, uh, the lens, the Pro lens with the 1.25 converter. So I'm buzzing. I can't wait. I can't wait to get it because, uh, you know, I'm hoping it's going to pretty much do everything. That one lens. Because all the stuff I do, it tends to be, it's long range stuff. I have other lenses and I very, very rarely put them on. You know, it's 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 all long, long range stuff, let's put it that way. And that 4.5 aperture, the fact that with the micro four thirds you get the, you know, two times crop factor. You know, you can have a, like a thousand, thousand mil, uh, a thousand mil lens at 5.6 I think it is, with the, using the teleconverter. So yeah, we're going uh, we're going all in with the OM system. So <laughs> yeah, I said we change stuff regularly, don't we? And uh, yeah, I mean the Nikon stuff, it's been fantastic. This is a superb camera. It's absolute. This D500, I love it. If I were just getting into you know uh, wildlife photography, I, I could recommend it to anybody. And it's been fantastic for me. All that's all I've ever used is, is Nikon from when I started and it really hasn't let me down. I've had some belting images with it, and, um, but I need, that, I need that better autofocus and I need the, uh, the better video quality, you know, on the slow motion, the pro capture. There's loads of benefits to it. But um, yeah, mirrorless isn't for everyone, is it? But um, yeah, there's life in this, this year. Yeah. Anyway, that's it. Uh, that's it for this one. I'm, uh, I'm not holding out much hope for these badges coming out, to be honest. One they can probably hear me gas bagging and what have you, but um, yeah, it's a bit of a cloudy night. It's horrible to be honest. So we'll have a we'll have another do, um, another time. So thanks very much for watching, everybody. Check out this Tragapan gear. Superb stuff. Concealment-wise, it's absolutely fantastic. 
and uh, yeah thanks for uh, following the channel give us a thumbs up and a subscribe if you haven't done and we'll see you on the next one see you now Thank you.